<laughs> I like that. Um, I can't okay. believe that girl was actually looking for advice. Everybody around you done gave you advice. Yeah. You ain't take it. It was her fault. Maybe he was a little wound up because he was. And he punched in the eye and she had to go to the mercy <laughs> room. Okay, okay. Uh, so Welcome back to another happy hour where I answer all of your questions honestly, okay? I'm not holding back for none of y'all because you wrote in and you already know how I am if you wrote in, okay? So I have three questions here selected by Jasmine and we're going to get to reading here as soon as I pull my wine. I ain't got but a little bit here because I was drinking this the other night, painting the walls uh, for the podcast studio. Hopefully y'all are catching up on uh, the podcast that I just dropped on health and wellness. Okay, that was a good damn podcast. All right, now, uh, real quick, let me get my first tip here. I ain't gonna get too messed up because I want to give y'all sound advice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. This question is, what about the children? It's titled, okay? It says, uh, I desperately need an outsider's opinion on this matter. Okay, about a year ago, my aunt started dating this man she met at the bar she worked at. Oh, these peanuts is in my teeth. I just ate some peanuts before this started. Let me get some water. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Let me start over, okay? I desperately need an outsider's opinion on this matter, okay? About a year ago, my aunt started dating this man she met at the bar that she worked at, okay? This man's brother drugged and raped my mother. Okay, I have not read these questions, all right? So I, this is the first time that I'm reading these questions, so this first part has already thrown me off, okay? She says, my family chose not to judge him for his brother's actions. It goes, however, I've noticed he started kissing my aunt's children on the lips within two weeks of knowing my aunt. Well, damn, okay. <sighs> all right, the children confessed to me that he makes them feel uncomfortable and they are scared of him. The children also told me that he beats their mom and their pets, okay? He even went to jail for beating my aunt, but she wouldn't cooperate, so the state dropped the charges. He has threatened to slit the children's throats and their mothers. Okay, this is the brother uh, to the other man that raped your mother. All right, what a hell of a family. After hearing all of this, I looked up his record and found out he has four domestic violence charges and drug charges. I tried telling my aunt about his past and I'm worried about her and most importantly her children, but she acts as if I'm the enemy. My aunt puts him on a throne. He has no job, no car. The car has been impounded four times this year due to him driving intoxicated and was homeless before my aunt moved him in. He has been in jail six times this year alone, and he, she has bailed him out of jail every time and has gotten his car out of the impound. I need a pen. Do you have a pen? Because I, it's right behind the computer right there because I have to make a note right here. She has brought him, she has bought him and all of his four children brand new clothes, but didn't even buy her own children any clothes. It's like she loves this monster more than her own children. My aunt lives off of the government. And aid, uh, no, okay, hold on, hold on, let me read that over again because I want to make sure that y'all are getting the full story so I can get my full damn answer, okay? She says, my aunt lives off the government aid, so I don't know how she's even getting this money to fund his bum ass. I do. She goes, I tried telling my family my concerns, but they don't want to hear it. It's almost like they would rather be oblivious because it's more comfortable because it's a more comfortable place to hide. I've stayed up countless nights trying to figure out what to do. I honestly feel like I should report this to CPS, but I'm worried that the children will hate me if I do. I'm also worried they will end up in a home that's even more toxic. I wish I could take them in, but I'm only 18 in college and I live in a studio apartment and make minimum wage. Please help. Thanks for your time, Tasha. Woo! Ooh, that was a lot of somebody else's business. Mm -hmm, mm. Okay, now you said two things that stuck out to me, okay? Now, you said uh, he's been to jail six times this year alone, and she has bailed him out of jail every time and has gotten his car out of the impound. 
And two, you say you don't know how she's making money because she's living off of government aid, okay? The answer to this question is simple. I'm not going to waste too much time. One, it's really none of your business, okay? Especially if you can't take care of them children, all right? Now, two, if you are really concerned about the children's uh, welfare, then you're going to have to place a call or either get some other family member to take the children in because you can't afford to. And I realize your heart's in the right place, but your heart right now ain't big enough to take on this problem, okay? It's going to take several hearts, all right? Uh, uh, another thing is you're saying that she's bailed him out six times this year. And the reason for that is because she loves him. She don't want y'all in her business. Obviously, if this man is going to jail for beating her ass, she loves getting her ass beat. And there's nothing you can really do about that, especially if she's taking her government aid money down there to bail his ass out for him to come and threaten to slit the children throats and everything like that. And another thing that you had pointed out, you said you don't know how she's getting the money to even do all of this, okay? She's selling her children, okay? She's got how many children? How many? Four? And this is an upcoming tax season right now. So I'm sure she's getting $1,500 per head when she pawns them children off on her friends and family uh, to a claim during tax season just so she can get that money back to bail his ass out and to take care of him because she wants a piece of man. Let this being that you're 18 years old, let this be a lesson to you, okay, of what not to do, what not to fuck, okay, and learn how to mind your business if you cannot do anything to change that situation, okay? So I realize it's really messed up. There's nothing that any of us can do. But who is going to raise them kids right now? Who? 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 You going to raise them, Jeremy? You going to raise them? Okay, next question. Moving on. This next question says, pushed too far, okay? Huh? Hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick. Mm, 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 mm. Before I read this question, push too far. Push too far, we have, okay, to take a moment to shout out one of our sponsors, which means we have to brag about them, and that's Boldly Raise a Glass too. Visit EmbracePangea.com to treat your intimate areas with the products it deserves. The Pangea Wash is made from honeysuckle and rose essential oils, is 100% natural, and doesn't dry you out down there. Don't dush, just in case your mama ain't never tell you that, because that's nasty, okay? Oh, that's nasty. Embrace Pangea Wash instead, and leave you and your yoni feeling clean, fresh, and with a balanced pH. EmbracePangea.com is where you can explore all of these wonderful vegan and plant-based products. Use the promotional code Tasha K for 10% off your first order at checkout. All right, now on to push too far. Okay, hold on real quick. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, so good. I love this Sauvignon Blanc. Okay. All right, she says, hey, Tasha, girl, you know you are the truth. Thank you. All right. She says, I respect and admire your boldness and honesty. Black women rock, baby. Yes, the hell they do, okay? I am for black women all the way, all right? I've been watching your show for almost a year, and I love the Q&A segment. Now hurry up and get us a show because I'm tired of that dry ass beep and bleep, okay? I'm not about to throw no shade on that. It's only the Tasha K show right now, all right? But y'all know, y'all can fill in the bank, sorry. She goes, but anyways, let's get straight to the point. I've been in a relationship with my current boyfriend for about a year now, and everything has been great. For the most part, he's a great guy. There's nothing I can ask for, whether it be financially, mentally. He's even started going back to church, working on his relationship with God. He's not perfect. He has his moments when he can be a little controlling, but he's getting better daily. Okay, let me um underline that little control. All right. So I'm pretty sure you're wondering what the problem is. Well, a couple of weeks ago, we got into a huge fight. To be honest, I was the one at fault. Okay. Let me underline that too. All right. Uh, an ex-boyfriend recently got back in touch with me and told me his little sister was coming to town and to have her baby, to have her baby shower. She wanted me to be there. His sister and I were really close. I, of course, agree, agreed, and I didn't tell my boyfriend where I was going. I really just didn't want him to ask me a million questions or FaceTime me the whole damn baby shower. Okay, alrighty, hold on real quick. Let me see. 
So I'm underlining stuff, as you pointed out, because I'm picking up clues, all right? The same day, my boyfriend's uncle was tragically shot and killed by the police in his apartment building. I'm so sorry. That's, that's, that's really bad, okay? Crazy, right? So when, he's real, so when he really needed me the most, I wasn't there. I turned my phone off on the way to the shower so he couldn't see my location. When I got home, let me underline this too. Hold on real quick. Damn, there's a lot of cues, girl. Okay. When I got home, he was sitting on my stairs crying and asking me where I had been, all right? And telling me that he thought I was hurt or worse. He then began to question me and I finally broke down and told the truth, okay? Or worse. Wait a minute. Hold on, no, no, no. That was the sentence before. The wine is already kicking in, okay? He then began to question me, and I finally broke down and told the truth. I couldn't hurt him any more than I've already done, or so I thought. After a while, the conversation got really heated. He started accusing me of sleeping with my ex and his dad. At the baby shower and more calling me names, saying he always falls for hoes, sounding like a whole Drake song. Okay, all right. Um, I'm like, bro, chill. I was wrong. Some, I was wrong, but damn, you acting like a real bitch right now. Okay. She getting with his ass. I guess it was the liquid courage or something because I said that out loud. Long story short, he said, call me another one. And I did. Then boom, he punched me dead in the eye. Okay. I saw that coming in the beginning. Because I hadn't read this question because I underlined something that you are clearly ignoring, okay? He hit me so hard I had to go to the emergency room. Later that night, after talking about the situation, we agreed to move past it. But I make the cardinal mistake of telling my best friend, okay? I made the cardinal mistake of telling my best friend. That's what she meant to say, okay? This bald-headed, this bald-headed tramp takes it upon herself to tell my dad after church one day. Well, shit, what you gonna call me after I give you advice? You gonna call me bald-headed too? God damn, I'm, I'm sure your friend was just looking out. Whew, okay. Talking about she couldn't keep that from her pastor. I really want to hit her ass for that, but she swears it was out of love. Okay, all right, there's another one. All right, I'm uh, outlining. Okay, all right. All right, she goes, so now my, da so now my dad has demanded that I stop seeing him, and before this... <laughs> punched in the eye and your daddy has the audacity to tell you to stop seeing that negro okay all right go on daddy so now my dad is demanding that i stop seeing him and before this our families were getting along and going to church together dinners family games right now neither family wants us together please tasha what do i do okay that's good first of all the only reason you are choosing to stay with him is because everybody is telling you not to stay with him. Your ass is rebellious. I don't know how old you are, but I take it you're probably in your early 20s or something like that. I could probably guess, all right? Because you mentioned in the beginning, you know, you got this, like, perfect relationship financially, mentally. He's going back to church. It's like, girl, you're making up all these excuses for him, and then you proceeded to tell me before I got to the part when he punched your ass in the eye, okay? You said he was a little controlling. Okay. You said working on his relationship with God, he's not perfect. He has moments when he can be a little controlling. I knew right then you was making excuses for this motherfucker already. Okay. Now you also said, to be honest, I was the one at fault, which means he can be a little narcissistic. Most controlling men are narcissistic and they tend to make you feel as if it's your fault. Okay. So you got a lot dealing on your hand, dealing, dealing with right now. Okay. Being that you're so young, I can tell that you're young by the way you're writing. Okay. And then you said, um, uh, then you said, uh, I didn't want to tell him because I didn't want to FaceTime. I didn't want him FaceTiming me the whole damn day at the baby shower. Okay, you are a grown-ass woman. Why does a man have to FaceTime you? Why do you have to turn off your phone, okay? On the way to the baby shower so he couldn't see your location. That's a sign right there. Then you proceed to tell me, uh, then he punched you dead in the eye. But you said earlier, you we're wrong. Am I, am I off here? Am I? Is, is it the one? She don't piss me the fuck off, okay? And then um, you are, are now being told by people that really love you, that have been there 
your entire life. And now you got this little piece of man here that you think is perfect because you don't read a Bible and it says to forgive. Okay. Turn the other cheek where he busts you in the eye. Where is it getting you to the motherfucking emergency room? Okay. Then <laughs> why are you laughing? Jasmine? Okay. Then <laughs> it's not a laughing matter. I'm trying not to laugh. Here, okay. Let me, let me drink some water. Okay. Let me sober up a little bit. Mm -hmm. mm. Then as your best friend did the right thing, she went and told everybody this man has been your ass because you didn't want to leave him. You was making excuses for his narcissistic ass. You turn around and want to punch her in the eye. Bitch, ain't that karma? Ain't that karma? Okay? You trying to reciprocate the very thing you are getting advice from, like you are seeking advice from. That's me, okay? I'm not going to condone you punching your best friend in the eye of somebody that really, really loves you. And she told your daddy, I'm surprised your daddy ain't jumped on his ass by now. He probably too old, okay? He probably had you when he was in his 50s or 60s. So your daddy is too old to beat his ass right now. But honestly, I don't really think that you're looking for the right advice now. I really think that you possibly want to get your ass beat a few times more in order for you to wake up because you're in the church, because you're seeing all these good things to mask up this fucked up piece of man that you got, okay? Because honestly, a lot of women like to fix a man, and I think that's what you're trying to do. you thinking that you have the ability to fix him, okay? Keep fixing him, and he's going he's gonna to keep putting your ass in the emergency room. What's it going to be, all right? That's all I really got to say on this, because I ain't got no advice for you, because if you was going to punch your best friend in the eye, you call her bald-headed, what you going to call me? I rest my case. All right, what's next here? Before we move on to this next question, she did what now is the title of this next question. We got another sponsor that we have to brag about, which means boldly raise a glass to. The olive leaf extract can help detox your body in just seven days. It's like magic, but better because it's real and it gives real results. And I know this because I personally use it. The olive leaf extract can help lower your blood pressure, clear eczema, and fight against autoimmune diseases and so much more. Now, I want you to do something good for your health and just visit their website at www.myoliveleaf.biz. The link is located below in the description box as well as in the comments. All right, Winos, now before we move, we read this next question, I would really like your advice on what some wine, what wines we should try, okay? I told you this wine already kicking in. I was drinking this wine the other day, painting the wall, and I got paint everywhere, all on the tile. I had to use a magic eraser to get it all. But anyway, um, yes, I want to take some wine selections from you, and I want to try some new things, okay? So please put your wine below in the comment section, and when I choose it, I'll let you know. Thanks for the shout-out. Now, I'm going to let you know if it's good or bad now, okay? All right, now, moving on to this last question, Okay? title she did what now she goes hi tasha i have written you before telling you how much i enjoy your show well thank you sis and thank you for writing in again i hope this time you will respond i understand you are extremely busy with your family and new baby and i'm not mad damn she just threw shade in the second one okay i got you girl this time all right um, I am a 50 year old African American woman who suffers from sickle cell anemia and many other issues stemming from that disease. I really hope that you, uh, have cop that olive leaf. It's strong. Okay. But we're going to, we're going to really get down to this. Okay. It is the day after Christmas and I am at my lowest point in every way. I'm so sorry. Wow. I come from a very dysfunctional family, which is a whole other can of worms. I don't want to open the problem. Now I am facing now is that I have a daughter who is 20 and in 2016 2017 she took out a student loan in my name uh i don't know what this word you you unbeknownst okay unbeknownst <laughs> uh to me until after it was done she used my information made a new email and forged a thirty thousand dollar loan leaving me responsible okay Needless to say, she did one year at Clark Atlanta and left me the student loan. I have asked her to help me pay it and she refuses and said I deserved it and feels entitled that she, should ha she shouldn't have to pay me for her year vacation. Uh, whatever. All right. I've tried reasoning, threatening, and everything. I am no longer speaking to her because now they are taking my social security payments. Oh, hell to the fuck, to the no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Hold on. Your social security payments? Okay. It's a spoiled little brat bitch. Okay. I am so hurt by what she has done. I have always worked as a teaching assistant and they and they were never homeless 
hungry, dirty, or bothered, okay? I did the best I could raising her and her brother, and this is what I get. I am behind on my renting utilities as well. I can't even afford car insurance on my 04 ready-to-die car. All this stress has caused me not to eat and sleep, and well, I am severely depressed. Tasha K, what should I do? Thank you for your time. Okay. First of all, you shouldn't be really dealing with any stress because I do know that I, I have a few friends with sickle cell and stress really inflames their sickle cell. Now, in order to combat that, um, there are some dietary changes that I need you to make so that you can sue the fuck out of your daughter and file charges on her ass for forgery since her ass didn't finish college or paid the damn loan back that she stole from you in the first place. But anyway, okay, let's talk about you first because I need you to be healthy in order to stand in court and sue her little spoiled brat bitch ass, all right? Now, you're going to stop eating gluten. You're going to stop eating wheat. You're going to increase your fruits and vegetables. You're going to do smoothies. You're going to do juices, okay? You're going to exercise when you can, all right? You're going to give up meat and you're going to take the olive leaf extract along with other uh, uh, vitamins and minerals okay and I'm gonna respond to you personally with a, a, a detailed uh what is that called a diet plan health nutritional plan so that you can get on track all right because I need you to be at your healthiest moment while you put your foot all the way up your daughter's ass okay two once you do that, you're going to take about six weeks to get your mind right, okay? And then you're going to go down and you're going to file the proper paperwork in order to have your daughter charged. Yes, she is a grown-ass woman and the last person that she wants to steal from is her mama. Okay, that you, you done gave her everything that you were supposed to give her. Now, of course, you being her mama, you thinking, oh, I shouldn't do this. You know, yes, the fuck you should do this, okay? You need to teach her a lesson because, listen, if she's doing it to you, she's going to do it to somebody else. She's going to start a career in forgery, and that's probably the reason she didn't even finish school in the first place because she figured if I can get 30000 from this, I could probably get more from other people, okay? So you're going to stop her right in her tracks and let her know you are not raising any more thieving whores, okay? Those slots are already feel two once you sue her ass you know once you put her ass in jail then you are going to sue her okay in order to get all of your money back and then once you get all of your money back because she's gonna have to pay that all right if she doesn't pay it every check that she gets from every job they are gonna garnish it on your behalf okay so you can make up for your social security payments and this money that you gotta pay and two i need you to find what is the um there's this service that you use. I, I think it's an advocate for like student loans and stuff. They should be able to get that off of your credit report or make you like not responsible for that student loan if you file charges against your daughter. Now, I know that's your daughter, but is your daughter giving a fuck about you right now and she's probably healthy, ain't got no damn health problems, has the ability to work and help to take care of her mother, but is she doing that? No. Put her little brat bitch ass in jail and let her see how it feels to fuck over the person that really loves you because let me tell you something, when she goes in that jail, ain't nobody gonna be putting money on her books. Nobody is gonna motherfucking help her, so she's gonna come out with a new attitude, hopefully, and respect her mama and pay that damn money back. So that's what you really need to do, okay? That's all I got to say. My damn blood pressure done got up from all these damn questions and everything because I'm trying to give y'all the best advice ever, okay? So I will be sending you a personal email. Thank you so much for trusting me with this, all right? Yes, this is your ass whoop because I'm telling you, if she was younger, you would have whooped her ass, possibly with an extension cord or a switch. But now you're going to let the justice system whoop her little thieving ass, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm. Now, before we uh, close out, winos, if you want your question to be select, uh, if you want your question to be selected as a part of Happy Hour, please feel free to email Jasmine, okay, my show producer, okay? It is Jasmine, J A S M I N E at unwindwithtashak.com. That's jasmine at unwindwithtashak.com. She looks through the questions and selects them. She'll be replying back to those that have, you know, personal questions as well that maybe don't want advice for the channel, okay? Thank you all so much for watching. Woo! If you like this video, subscribe. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at unwindwithtashak. And hell, if you didn't like this video, you can still subscribe anyway just so you can cuss my ass out. Not that I'm gonna really give either damn anyway now i got to go okay bye